My mum's always saying to me, when are you going to be in that tape? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, welcome to the clubhouse. We're here in Letchworth with Sarah Graham at her art studio. Um, could you give us your like 10 second pitch of what you are and what you do? Okay, I'm a photorealist artist. Um, I paint in oils, um, oil on canvas, and I mostly paint colourful kitsch things such as sweets and toys. That's cool. Has that always been your style? or? Um, I've been into photorealism since I was at uni. That's when I kind of first discovered it and got interested in it. But I'd always been interested in photography and oil painting. So right since I was a kid, so it was a natural combination of the two. Um, so you do art workshops, most recently a Star Wars themed one. What is it like teaching other people to paint in your style? Well, it's re it sounds cheesy, but it is really rewarding. Um, and it's great for me to give people a chance to work in a studio and get a taste of what it's like, you know, to be a life as an artist. So it's not only about them producing a painting that they feel proud of and me giving, you know, some hints and tips on how to go about painting, but it's the whole experience that I want people to enjoy. So. And you were this year featured in the GCSE art exam paper and yeah. on the syllabus as well. Yeah. And what's it like being an example artist for... It's okay. amazing. It's, um, I mean, for me, it only feels like yesterday that I was doing my GCSE exam, so it was a little bit surreal. Um, I get students emailing me a lot, you know, since it's all happened, and sharing their artwork with me, which is fantastic. So, you know, just knowing that my work appeals and actually inspires kids is, is pretty amazing. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, can you tell us a bit about the process of creating a canvas? Um, well, I basically start with my photography, which I have got a little photography room in my studio where I work, and that's the starting point, that's the foundation. It's a bit like my sketchbook in a way, that's where I take lots of ideas and then I'll figure out one that works well and is sort of screaming, paint me, paint me. <laughs> And then I come to the easel and with the photograph, um, I use that as a reference point to do a rough underpainting in acrylics first, just to get the bones of the painting down on the canvas. And then I start the oil painting um, and then that's the lengthy process. Yeah, how long does that take? So um, paintings, it, obviously depending on size, but they can take anything between a week to a couple of months. Um, in fact, the, really big one I'm doing at the moment in the studio I've been working on for three months now so yeah, yeah. that's commitment so yeah <laughs> yeah those those paintings take they do take it out of you physically because mm -hmm. it's such a like labour intensive yeah. process does it become like quite tiring looking at the same thing as well like knowing that you've got to go back in today and finish um, yeah I mean some days it's it's harder than others in that respect but because you always, because I work across the canvas, each little section is like it's a painting mm. in its own right. So it is like coming to it fresh in a way because as, as I do each section, it's, it breaks it down. So, yeah. What are your future plans? To keep painting. Yeah. Um, that really is the end goal, if there is such a thing, is just to keep doing it. Yeah. Because it's obviously it's quite a roller coaster, um, can be quite a precarious profession. Um, you know, I'm certainly not in this to make money. I'm just in it to make it work. Um, and the, the, I mean, you know, to have an exhibition one day in a in a really amazing gallery would be incredible. That's I suppose the goal of any artist, because you're making your work to be seen by. Yeah, as many people as possible, so I guess, you know, that would be the dream. My mum's always saying to me, when are you going to be in that tape? <laughs> <laughs> so great. I think she might have quite a long wait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that That's alright. Um, is there anything that you haven't had the chance to paint yet, or haven't got round to painting that you'd like to have a go at? Yeah, yeah, there's loads of... Because <laughs> obviously ideas come really quickly, yeah. but paintings come really slowly, so there is a bit of a discrepancy between the two. So, um, 
things I would really like to do are more of my wilderness of kitsch work. Um, so far I've only had a chance to do uh, three paintings um, from that series. And so basically putting real people in amongst toys and kitsch memorabilia and objects and things. Um, I would love to do a lot more of those. There's certain people that I admire, some of my heroes that I would love to immortalise in those yeah. paintings. So that's kind of my um, ambition, I suppose, at the moment for my work. How do you find like, the art community? And do you feel there's been that much support from it? Or have you had a positive or negative experience? Um, do you know what? There is, thanks to social media, I really feel like I am part of an artist community. Um, I can't imagine actually how I feel without that now because it does give you um, insight and it lets you into other artists' ways of working and, um, and you know, you feel like you're part of something which is really nice and you can sort of just help each other along and, and so I've got quite a few artist relationships that have grown out of social media and finding each other on places like Twitter and um, which is brilliant and the gallery network as well is a kind of another part of it which offers support I suppose and it is, it is a nice community to be part of actually. Yeah. So is there, do you have like social media sites that people can follow you on and where can people look at your work and buy some of their work? Yeah, so my social media is Sarah Graham underscore art. That's Instagram and Twitter. And I'm on Facebook um, as Sarah Graham. I've got um, an online shop, which is, um, it's, it's sort of, you can find that by going on my website. Should I say my website? Yeah. Okay, it's <laughs> sarahgraham.info yeah. um, and I've got some quite affordable prints on there but um, I'm in the process of going back into print so at the moment um, the prints aren't available but they will be very soon um, and they'll, they'll be available through different galleries and that around mm. the UK. Um, thanks so much for watching and um, thank you so much for having us down. You're welcome. I'm sorry that I didn't have the comfy sofa because <laughs> you're used to. We make do. <laughs> um, yeah, thanks again for watching. Make sure you subscribe, check out all of Sarah's links, we'll put them below. And we'll see you again next week. A house of floorboards.